Hi guys, uh, today we are going to learn how to calculate uh, covariance using uh, Texas Instrument calculators. Now there are two varieties of questions that you may see on CF and FRM exams. Uh, I have put in both the questions on my screen. The first question that you see here will give you data of uh, two variables and you would be required to do a covariance calculation. Uh, this is relatively easier to handle in the Texas calculator so it should be a smooth game for us. Uh, the second question where you would be given a joint probability matrix and then using that you would be required to do uh, variance calculation. So here I have done the calculation using the formula. Now in this video I will be showing you how to do the calculation for both of these questions uh, using the Texas uh, instrument calculator. So let's get started with the first one. Now. Uh, you might already know this that there is a data function in the calculator that you can access by pressing so let me just adjust my screen here so by pressing second and seven on your calculator so when you press second and seven it will show you that x01 then you have to press second and clear work so by doing second and clear work it's going to delete if there was anything saved previously then you start inserting those numbers one by one. So these are the numbers, you know, I would be inserting into the calculator. So X01 is going to be 10 and then I have to press the enter button. Uh, Y01, 12. Then X02, 12. Y02, 32. Then X03, 17. 34. X04, 22 y04 28 x05 27 and y05 27 so in this fashion you insert the data now uh, there is no direct covariance function in the calculator but we can use a simple formula which is uh, correlation between a and b into uh, the two sigmas or two standard deviation so here I'm going to calculate a covariance for the population and therefore I'm going to make use of the standard uh, sigmas of the population not the sample. So here is how we'll do it. Press second and then press eight. It brings you inside the stat function. Now make sure your uh, screen shows linear. If it doesn't then keep on pressing second and set to bring yourself to the linear mode of it. Then press downward arrow and look for sigma x, right? Sigma x stands for standard deviation of the population. Sx stands for standard deviation of the sample. So come on to sigma x, press STO1, put that in the first memory slot. Then keep on pressing downward arrow and you would find sigma y, press STO2 so that it goes, uh, gets stored in the second memory slot. Then keep on pressing downward arrows and look for r, r stands for correlation coefficient sto3 so it goes into third memory slot now you just need to multiply the three numbers so rcl1 multiplied by rcl2 so let me clear up my screen rcl1 multiplied by rcl2 multiplied by rcl3 and then you have covariance of the population here so covariance of the population that's coming out to be 17.24 so that was a relatively straightforward affair now once we are through with this then how do you calculate covariance when you've been given a joint probability distribution this is where the business gets a little tricky so you would be given a situation like this where they will say x is equal to 15 22 or 35 and then y is equal to some values and then you would be given a joint probability matrix here now the first thing you do is if you decide to use a formula is you reshuffle your data and you present that in this fashion so there is a 60% probability that when x is 15, y would be 15. So we present that here. In the same fashion, a 20% probability that when x is 22, y would be 24. So we present that here. In this fashion, you present the data. Then the first order of business is to calculate a weighted mean for x. And you do that by, now I have used a sum product formula, but what you basically do is 15 into 60% plus 22 into 20% and so on and you do it for y as well then you calculate x minus x bar so 15 minus 20.4 and so on and so forth y minus y bar so 15 minus 19.4 and then you use uh, 
P, which is the probability multiplied by x minus x bar, y minus y bar, you sum them up. So look at this. 60% into these values, you add them up and that's your estimate of covariance. Now, how do you do this in the Texas calculator? So, unfortunately, the data function of your calculator, if you see, there are just two fields, which is x and y. Right? So, let me press second and seven and observe we have x and y. But here we need three fields. We need the probability, we need x and y. Now, because there is no direct way of entering it, you will have to improvise a little and this is how you do it. You first look at your probability carefully and then you say that is there an indirect way for me to incorporate the probability, the frequency of that, uh, you know, that data set being repeating without uh, using that probability number. Now we can do it. Now in this case, how I'm going to do is I'm going to assume uh, a total number of five and I'll tell you why five later on. But if total is five, then we know that 60% uh, of five, so into 0.6, is going to be 3 and 20% of 5 so into 0.2 is going to be 1 and 20% of 5 is again going to be 1. What I mean to say is assigning a 60% probability or a frequency simply means repeating out of a total uh, frequency of 5 repeating that multiple 3 times you know and then one time and one time would make it 20%. So if you use this logic, you can get the variance covariance estimate without using any, uh, you know, fancy formula whatsoever. So I'm going to do it for you now. Just observe, look at the calculator carefully. So I'm going to press second and seven to insert the data function. Second and clear work. Now x01, 15. Y01, 15. I'm going to repeat this three times to indicate that 60% probability. So press downward arrow and even x02 would be 15 y02 would be 15. Downward arrow one more time, 15, 15. Then you come to x04. Now x04 is going to be the next value which is 22 and 24. So 22 here, 24 here. I'm repeating it, repeating it once because out of 5 when you repeat it once, it's indicating a 20% probability. In the same fashion, uh, x05 which is going to be 35 and y05 which is going to be 28 again being repeated only once to indicate 20 percent probability uh, so once you've inserted data press second and eight again use the usual drill so look for sigma x sto1 sigma y sto2 correlation coefficient sto3 then multiply the three number rcl1 into rcl2 into rcl3 equal to and bingo, we have the answer, which is uh, 40.84, right? That's how you can solve questions like these on the exam. Now, what if, you know, the probability was something like this. What if uh, we had probability of, let us say, uh, 50% and then 30% and then 20%. Then how do you do it? Now, if you take total value of 5 and if you multiply that with 50%, it's going to give you 2.5. You cannot insert the data 2.5 times. So what you'll have to do this time is you'll have to convert your total number of entries to 10. And it becomes a little tedious, uh, but it's still better than maybe for some of us, instead of doing this entire calculation, you can still do it within the Texas calculator. So how I'm going to solve this is, uh, I'm going to take total observations as 10. I'm going to repeat the first one five times, the second one three times, and the fourth one uh, two times, right? So total is 10, and then 5, 3, 2 will ensure 50, 30, and 20% probability. What if your probability is 65% uh, and, you know, 15% and maybe how much are we left with? 20%. If this is the case on the exam, then unfortunately, either you use the formula because there is you know, no easy way of handling this, either you use the formula or you increase your number of observations to 20. And then you repeat the first one 13 times, you repeat the next one three times and the last one four times and then you will still get the answer. Okay, so it becomes a little tedious, but you still get the answer with, you know, within the calculator itself. So you need not have to do those lengthy calculation. 
so this is roughly what I wanted to cover today. I hope uh, you find this video beneficial. Uh, if you think, uh, if you have any more questions or if you think there are certain topics where you're struggling and you would like uh, me to create videos, you just put them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to reply them or create videos on them. So thank you very much. Uh, enjoy your preparations.